Aquarius. We are going to take a look at the first week of June, the first through the seventh. Let's see what's going on for you for love. What's the situation? Sagittarius, first week of June. The moon reverse, so we could be dealing with a Pisces here, or just um, kind of getting in your your head about stuff, or just not, not head so much, but um, feeling a little mixed up. Somebody's feeling mixed up. Something's could be going awry here. Let's see what you feel about the situation. You are the seven of pentacles reversed. Okay, so something is not really working out the way you want it to in terms of your finances or your health. And it's like putting you in this kind of really weird state of mind. Uh, you're questioning everything, including the relationship. Um, you're questioning your part in the relationship, your contribution. Uh, you've worked really hard on something and it is just not. It's just totally stagnant right now. And you've, you've hit a wall. And you're kind of in this kind of you're you're you might be turning to spirituality, but I think that you're you you're using it more as an escape than a tool. Let's see what your partner is feeling about it. They are the full reverse. So your your partner kind of has this energy, like they're coming at you with like this with optimism, but it's it's um it's there's there's no kind of guidance. They're just kind of like it's all gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Like sometimes that's like the last thing you want to hear. Like no, like it's not just all gonna be okay. Like things don't magically become okay. Like I've worked really hard on this, and it's not turning out the way I planned. And this is really like the overall energy of your relationship right now. And I think that there's you know you're feeling some resentment towards your partner because it's like you know this advice you're giving me. Like they're they're trying to be emotionally supportive, but they don't know how. So you may want to communicate. Um, you need to think of specific things you need to do in order to get your, yourself out of this situation and then ask your partner for these specific things. If, you know, if they're willing to support you, like I help me with this because right now they don't know what to do and they're kind of just like, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And like, you don't want to hear that. And that's the overall energy for your relationship this week. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next week.